Hey you guys, I'm Steven. I'm Giselle. And we're the Lover's Passport. We are in the back of our Forerunner right now. And we're gonna show you guys our car camping setup. <laughs> set up this is currently our like warmer um, bed setup that we use so we have air, our blanket below our air mattress to make sure that heat isn't escaping below us then we have the air mattress itself then we have like a sheet or two depending on where we're going we just got back from Pinnacles National Park and so we just brought one sheet and then a duvet and then we have some extra blankets because I get way more cold than Stephen does and so yeah it's very cozy. We also bring two pillows. I think that's it in terms of bed setup for the summer and like spring. In terms of winter bed setup, we would do all of this, but we'd also include our sleeping bags. So we have two different sets of sleeping bags. We have these ones from Coleman that we use primarily for camping because they're more heavyweight. And then we also have our REI Co-op Co-Magma um, sleeping bags, and those are great for backpacking in cold weather. So when we've been car camping in the snow, since we don't have a down blanket right now, is we will put our down sleeping bags inside the Coleman sleeping bags underneath the duvet. So that way we stay really warm. And that's been a really great setup for us so far, whether we were in the Sequoias, Mammoth, Big Bear, wherever. All of those spots, we have been able to stay warm even in the snow when it's like 10 degrees outside. So we'll link everything down below for you if you are interested in getting a setup like that for the snow. And then the last little final detail we like to add to our bed setup are these little twinkle lights. We got them from Luno Life and they just add a really nice little touch of ambiance to our setup. So when we're cooking or when we're just hanging out in bed, um, we like to turn them on and it just gives a nice little cozy vibe inside here. If you guys missed it, we already did a whole video describing out how we build this bad boy wooden platform here. It's a nice little T-shape, so it gives us these little uh, storage boxes in between here. And as you could see from the footage, the little ability to flip up and like keep our mattress on top while also having some extra storage on the side. So we'll link that here for you and down below in the description. So next up inside the drawers, you can keep whatever you want. We got these nice little drawers from Target. They have rollers, which on the on the bottom, which is my favorite part. And we keep a long one just like that. It goes perfectly to the end. In the opposite one, we keep a shorter one just so we can throw our chairs there or if we have anything else. But we pull this one out and this one has most of our utensils. If you wanna find out what we do in regards when it comes to food prep and how we bring all of our own food and what we think is important when you're bringing food on a road trip make sure to check out the video up here and so the nice thing about our build too is that we have this here so we have storage when the seats are down and so each of us have our own kind of like specialized side so this is my side i can usually fit a duffel bag a backpack and like some extra jackets and my shoes down here because I don't like to put my dirty shoes on top of like our blanket or anything. So I will keep my camp shoes back here and switch in between those with my hiking shoes. And then, I mean, yeah, right now I still have some hiking poles in here from our trip this weekend. But yeah, it's really nice because it's a deep storage pocket and so each of us can fit like a week's worth of clothes and gear inside the sides here. Last but not least, let's talk about all of our essential accessories that we bring on our trips to make life that much easier. And this is how we store them inside. All right, so our stove lives on top of this drawer here, since that's usually our food drawer anyways. So we try and keep everything like dining related in that one. These are called click chairs, C-L-I-Q. Check the link out below, but they're our favorite camping chairs hands down. We can put them inside of our backpacks. They're really nice and light. They're about the size of a hydro flask, but we've been really loving them, especially hanging around the campfire, or even we skip to a spot, we can lay them out, cook food really fast, pick it up and throw it back in the car. When, when road tripping, when road, when road tripping, every single amount of space you have counts. And I love how small these are. All you do is you can click, it comes together. 
It takes about 30 seconds to set up. It has this bottom part where you press, it all comes together, and it even has a little piece you can wrap up. So that's about all it is. We have two of them, one for G and one for me, and we bring them on every single road trip we do. And that's where we store them. We also put them with the food just because, you know, we take them out when we're eating. So it makes sense, and they fit perfectly with the stove and the food box in there. And you guys have probably seen us use this cooler in several of our other videos. It started to get pimped out a little bit. We got quite a few stickers on it now. So our cooler is from Rover. It's the Rover 45 and we stick that usually on top of our air mattress when it is deflated. Fits perfectly in the back of our car. We really love our Rover cooler and it fits perfectly next to our water, water cooler. Water jug right here. So that's super important. We usually bring only one five gallon jug for a weekend trip and we'll have to fill it up one time if we do a four to five day trip. But that lives next to it just so when it's moving around it doesn't fall over and get our bed too wet. So we always set that right there. And last but not least we have our rinse kit. Our rinse kit is our portable shower. We don't do too many showers just because we're usually only gone for a weekend so we don't get too stinky. So we like the rinse kit just because it's really nice and easy. If you leave it out in the sun for a little bit, it can get nice and warm so you can have a warm shower. If it's really hot out, just leave it inside your car, let it get a little bit cooler and then you can take a nice cold shower. But it takes, it has enough, sh uh, enough water in it for about three showers is what we've seen. We can use it for washing off our feet after a long day on the trail. So next under our bedding we actually have a table we bring this table everywhere we go it's not very big as you can see it's only about a four foot by four foot table but it's nice and flat it is really nice to have especially when we're out camping a table is really nice to have just so you can set everything on it usually we have our water over here and then we will also pull out our stove setup for when we're cooking. We like to bring the table just so we have a lot of room to cook on our little stove here as well as we have the water. As you can see you cannot see inside the car through these until you take them off. Put it back on. Now take it off again. See that? What a difference. <laughs> we haven't found a better way to attach this just yet. Just because it is really easy when I want to roll down the windows and get some ventilation, I can roll it down without this moving. If it is attached to the window, it'll move with it and it'll crush it. So this is the best way we've seen so far is just attaching it with duct tape. If you guys have any uh, suggestions, leave them down in the comments. So if you guys need a lot of charging on the go, we don't need too much because we're usually out only on like one to three day trips. We bought this little power converter and charger off of Amazon. It's the best tech um, model and it was like fairly cheap. I think it was around 20, 30 bucks, but we've gotten a bang for our buck for this. So what you do is you just plug this in and then when the car turns on, what's nice about this is it fits directly in the cup holder. So it doesn't really move around too much. And that's what I like because normally when we're on the go, I'm the one like dropping photos on our hard drive or maybe working remotely or anything like that. So it's really nice to have just like right here. I'll plug in the charger to my camera. Really easy on and off button. It fits two little three prong, prong cords here as well as two USBs. And you can also fit another one of these inside of here. So it's really handy, especially if you don't want to commit to a full like power system like Jackery. This is a really great investment to have on the road if you need charging. So this lives in our glove compartment. The other things we keep up here when we are car camping is this bag for one. This is actually the bag that holds everything up for our air mattress. So we have our pump in here. And so when we are blowing up our air mattress, we will plug this in into the car charger once again take this and we put in our car air mattress so that the pump is facing up here so we don't have to deal with having to plug in an outlet in the back where the generator is so we just easily bloop 
turn on the car and then this just requires a flip of a switch and then this will blow up our air mattress so that's super handy and we always keep it up here just so it's we're not like losing things and it's really easy to blow up so we just finished blowing up our air mattress it takes maybe three minutes to four minutes depending on you know how fast it is that day but it's super convenient and then we just put everything once it's all pumped up back in here so that way the next day once we deflate it we can reinflate it very easily and then the last thing that we keep in here at all times especially while car camping are headlamps so we always have two in here with some extra batteries as well as an extra just somewhere in the back in our electronics bin if you're driving somewhere late at night or early in the morning you're going to want to have a headlamp with you or a flashlight but we just prefer headlamps because we're going to use them when we go on our sunrise hikes and sunset hikes so two things that we saw quite a few people not have that i think are super important number one is a spare tire so we keep our spare tire under here because it is a forerunner we highly recommend before heading on a road trip checking to make sure there is enough air in there so if you do uh, have a flat tire and you switch it to your spare tire and your spare tire is flat you're gonna be out of luck so make sure you guys check both those and do a vehicle inspection before heading out on a road trip and the second thing we always bring our jumper cable we keep our jumper cables over here in the corner they can help you as well as if you go with anyone but always important to have those with you cars don't normally come with them when you buy them whether they're used or new so I highly think I think it's super important to invest in a pair and just always keep them in your car. Always make sure you have these and at least a spare tire. And that is it for our little tour of our SUV car camping setup. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It really helps our channel a lot. And it lets us know that you guys are interested in this kind of content so we'll be able to create more videos like this in the future. And we'll see you guys out there on the next road trip.